One simple mishap, you are going to fall. By the way, I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the stairs, so don't worry about me. Hey travel friends, I hope all is well with you. My name is LJ and welcome to the vlog. Today is another interesting day here for me in Santiago, Chile because we are exploring another tourist attraction or like a historical site something you can do for free so I'm excited to, to go and we are actually going to hike up to the Cerro Santa Lucia so the Santa Lucia hill it's, I think in translation and to go in is free so come let's I think the visiting hours it says here is I don't know if you can see it is 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. so actually I checked it online on, on Google it's actually not 9 a.m. it's 10 a.m. to 7 30 so I don't really know the exact time but we're going in Let's check out but before you get in there's a security guard will ask you to write your name I think moment Solo. Gracias. Okay, maybe because I'm um, a tourist, I didn't have to register. He just let me pass, and yeah, I don't have to register. So, anyway, this is the facade. I'm in the map. It does actually say 9 in the morning to 8 p.m. Hmm. Let's double check that again in Google. But yeah, let's go up. When you make kill the right, I mean left, once you get to the entrance, there's a little park. They have a little Japanese garden here. And let's check it out. Let's compare it to the Japanese garden that we went to in Buenos Aires. Signed by me, it does say Jardin Japones. So Japanese gardens. But I don't know. It doesn't look alive and zen like to me. You'll be the judge. Um, it's dried out and no koi, but I do get the idea of how they want to present it. I guess it's just not well taken care of right now. But if you just want to find time, so at least I think this is the least visited spot here. I mean, people just sit and walk over a place but the one higher up there that's that's the main attraction I think the castle um, yeah let's just see what else they can offer here at the Japanese garden trying to walk around the Japanese garden nothing interesting for me to see actually um, that's about the exit I think to get out um, 
looks a bit shady I'm not gonna go explore that anymore let's go back up to the main attraction I mean at least this area looks Japanese -y. they do have pagodas but that's about it you can skip it if you want but if you just wanna get a little walk then yeah do it so finally the coast is clear we can go up because that guy was cleaning the stairs and it was so dusty so these are the two things we are trying to go to the Castillo Hidalgo and the circular garden I have no idea about the circular garden although the Castillo Hidalgo I have read a little bit After you get up those stairs, you will find this big open area where you can go in either direction to the left or the right. But let's go check out the circular garden. Basically, it's like a circular garden, nothing special, I think. But yeah, they have like a main fountain in the square in the circle because it's not uh, right there. Other than that, nothing else. So, yeah, it, it looks really nice and peaceful and cool. So, once you finish up with the circular garden, you go up to the stairs, and that's Castillo Hidalgo. That's the iconic castle. It was built on 1816 to protect the city. Uh, before but now it's, it serves as an event space for events special events like a musical or whatever the city process to so currently it's closed see the padlock so we can go inside unfortunately today but we can check out the facade yes beautiful gate So on the right side of the castle, you can find this walkway. There's also the left side, but right now we are taking this because we want to do the terraza caupolican. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. So we're going to the terrace. Let's see if we can go up and it's not closed today. It's part of the castle right there. really hoping we can go to the terrace because it looked like it had a great view and it looked really nice um, these are fortification walls that look newer than one on the left I think that leads up to the castle itself and unfortunately this is also closed so can't go in the castle unless there's an event I think it looks like we have hope to see the terrace that I'm standing you, I think we're gonna go up these steep stairs, see if we can get up and find it. But it is really steep, so you better be careful. I'm recording and I'm taking the stairs, but yo, it looks really steep. So I don't know where I'm going just yet. 
Okay, we need more. Oh, that's a lot of... Oh, yo, that's a lot of steps. It's actually a lot of steps, but there's... I think there's an... How do you say? Elevator? Escalator up there? But... I'll check it later. Let's do the stairs first. Yep. This a lot. Yo. See those stairs? I mean steps? Yeah. We're almost there. Oh, nice. This is beautiful. Water is clean. taking the stairs you are greeted with this beautiful park with a man-made waterfalls if you can call it a waterfalls and this very imposing statue of Don Pedro de Valdivia so if you don't know who Don Pedro Valdivia is he is the first ever royal governor of Chile he was sent from Spain actually he was one of the uh, royal members of the Spanish guard or army whatever you call it and he was elected as the first um, yeah, governor in Chile so FYI I think we can go further up over there to that viewpoint or the whatever the castle thing. What do you call that? The oh my god, what do you call the turret? I don't know what they call it. But by the way, the water is so clean and clear. You look at that. Yeah. Anyway, let's go up. More stairs, but lesser than the first one. Ooh. Confused in where to go, but they can go this way, I think. Ah, uh, you get to see the view off the pool thing. But I think I took the wrong, the wrong way. <laughs> oh, this one's closed. Nope, closed. Okay, let's go to the other side. So this is the right way to go up. And you can see the red painting on the side. I think that's the castle, I mean fort. I don't know my my English history about those things, but be, before we head up, whew, look at the view. Yeah, it's actually high. This hill is actually high. The whole purpose of a high hill is to look at enemies before before they come in. people here but oh now I know the word tower <laughs> so we are the towers of the castle so it looks like it's full upstairs but we're gonna try to see the view 
I think it's gonna change. I don't think it's gonna change. Yeah, so it's back right now. Just looking for a space to take a B point. And then once they're done, I'll show you where it is. I really like the color of the red and yellow. It does pop out, but we're heading down because there's nothing else. It's too hard for me to stay long. So, try to get careful with the stairs. They're tiny, they're steep. One simple mishap, you are gonna fall. By the way, I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the stairs, so don't worry about me. I found a little, found a little nook to explore. I think this is a church. I'm not sure if it's a church, but that one. Is that a church, guys? Nope. It doesn't have a cross, so I don't think it's a church. We'll find out what it is once we get closer. Is it a crypt? Is it a chapel? Okay, there's, there's a name right here. <laughs> it is... Hardin Darwin. It's... Darwin Garden. Hmm. Although, you can always go close to it. Let's see what it is. I think it's a church. More stairs. <laughs> Alright, so it is a sepulchre. If a sepulchre has any sepulcro de Benjamin Vicuña. What is a sepulcro, my friends? A church? Double check. Okay, so erase the church chapel reference. Sepulchre? Yeah, now I just googled that. So basically, this is where they buried Benjamin Vicuña McKenna. And he is actually the guy that initiated the change for the city of Chile into uh, from. Uh, from an urban um, area to more rural feel like creating parks and he initiated the construction and creation of this park itself at St. Uh, Santa Lucia Hill. Yeah, <laughs> by the way, this hill, St. Lucia Hill, is actually 62 meters in height. And so it's not the highest um, hill, of course, this is in the middle of the city but it's high enough for you to get the good, good, a good viewpoint okay we are about to explore another part of this park and i'm hoping to find because i was looking for that beautiful facade fountain um i'm not sure what it is but i'll once i find it i'll let you know let's go explore more so this piece of structure is actually original from a um, long time ago. They preserved this entrance to the whole park. And it's beautiful. Also, if you see a little figure up here, actually it's not that small. <laughs> but that's one of the natives, indigenous tribe called the Mapuche um, that's a Mapuche warrior right there oh that's such a nice video shot yeah that's less blue of the sky and red of that building by the way fun fact this hill is actually a remnant of a volcano millions of years ago so that's very interesting to be on a remnant of a volcano. 
and anyway at this terrace you will find right in front of you the Museum of Fine Arts Museo de Bella Arte and I think I know where I need to go I think it's a Neptune statue that I wanted to see it's right about down there yeah so we are heading there to check it out and make a video of it anyway I think I'm gonna take a photo right here because this is super cool think so I have my own turret where I can gun down invaders from here well, this is the purpose of this castle anyway when invaders come during this um, weird war era that they had before you have a space to defend the city and it's a beautiful space We are a little thirsty, we might be also hungry from all that walking and sun. Fortunately, they have little kioscos here that sell um, treats and snacks and water. So you don't have to worry if you don't if you didn't bring anything. You can buy it from here. They also have toilets. Um, Hold on. This is the bathroom. So bathrooms go down there. They have bathrooms, so don't worry about bathrooms as well. By the way, the name of the terrace where we are right now is called Terraza Calpolican. I think I said that before, but read it. Hard to pronounce, but yeah. With this two wooden figures. I don't know if you can see it back. Right here. So traditionally, the Mapuche, the tribe that I was telling you about, the warrior tribes, when they die, they actually make a wooden figurine and put it on the grave so that's a prime example of that I think it's new they carved it new but that's a old tradition so we got ourselves a orange juice slushy and um, it's from this store they sell it for the big one is a thousand and the so smaller one is 700 so yeah it's like a dollar for a big one and 75 cents so let's see let's taste mm. so refreshing because the sun see that sun it's so hot Cheers. And I say cheers. <laughs> Salud amigos. I'm E amigas. Alright, let's walk a little bit more and see. Or no, look for that um, place that I was telling you about. I wanted to see where that leads. This is part of um, Castillo Hidalgo. The one that we can get in because it's closed. So 
also going down to the I know what it is, it's Neptune's fountain or Jupiter's fountain. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna confirm once we get down there, but anyway, going down you have this beautiful shaded pathway and um, it's just so relaxing. It's, it's more relaxing than the um, Japanese garden actually. Um, and there's pampas everywhere. If you don't know what pampas is, this is what pampas are. This cost like you know, a bunch of this is like 25 US dollars if you buy it Target or somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so you beautiful. And I think this is a maple thing, maple tree. No, it's not. But anyway, it looks like a maple, the color. Oh, there's another road. I'm not sure if that's we can take that. But anyway. This is the beautiful walkway that I was talking to you about. Sorry. Surrounded with flowers and plants. It's beautiful. So we are inching closer to that um, statue fountain that I was telling you about. And I can confirm that it is the fountain of Neptune so Neptune is what the god of the sea right god of the sea to all those history buffs out there comment down below let me know if it is god of the sea anyway have you subscribed to my channel yet if not please subscribe support this very young youtuber not by age but the star of YouTube Anyway, onwards. So it is Terrasa Netuno. And look at this beautiful, beautiful architecture. I think this is a neoclassical design. If I'm not mistaken, um, my design aesthetics is actually similar to this if I want it's beautiful let's just walk around check out the views and the architecture all right so oof this fell one second and that's Neptune, my friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it has two grand staircase on each side where you can be closer to him. It's a beautiful place. And look at the staircase. Yeah, it's so cool. I think, yeah, I think the statue is actually made of bronze, of course, being bronze. Later on, the color changes to green because of time, just like the Statue of Liberty, right? It was bronze and now it's green. That's the characteristic of bronze. Once they age, they turn green. And we are cutting our vlog here today, my travel friends. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you learned something from it. We are continuing our vlog to the city after this one and just enjoy this fountain. Such a beautiful fountain. I stayed here for a little bit more. If you can see the lady right there, she's just washing their hands. It's normal for people to actually wash their hands here. Please don't forget, comment, like, subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. Thank you so much my travel friends and have a great day. Ciao!